Okay, hello Chief Architect users. Um, I did not practice for this video. I just want to say that we're just going to dive into a particular plan that I've gotten from um, a user and I want to demonstrate one of my services which is I do production level drafting and training um, at the same time. So I'm going to go at my speed. Uh, actually, I'm going to go a little slow, slower than my speed because I'm not going to be using my toolbar um, which is a custom touchpad toolbar. Uh, so I'm going to try to show you the toolbar actions that I'm that I'm going um, for when I'm doing production drafting. And I'm going to explain hotkeys that I'm using as I'm doing them, um, you know, methodology, etc. while I'm pushing a plan set forward. Now this particular plan set, it's got a lot of lagging um, in this main screen. And, and part of that is that, you know, I kind of already know why this is hiccuping and, and there's, you know, there's some CAD details. I'm going to get over to Aldo, which is Active Layer Display Options, and I'm just going to type in CAD in my name filter, and I'm going to grab these these guys right there, and I'm going to choose not to display them anymore. And then the next thing I'm going to do is let's just grab this. Let's go text. Let's just get rid of all. Let's just select all. Uncheck. Okay. And then what else do we have here? We've got. There's maybe some CAD blocking labels. Let's do schedules. Let's get rid of schedules out of this view. And so after we've taken off those, you know, those particular items, all of a sudden we get to navigate in this plan, and it's it's already a lot snappier. So um, to get back to where we were, let's let's check those back on. What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to do a couple methods to just generally you know, organize this plan, but keep these items out of this particular plan view and still be able to send this to layout. So I'm going to get into my CAD detail management right here, and I'm going to create a new detail, and we're going to do, let's do window schedule, bam, and control tab to get back to my first window there, back into the CAD window, CAD detail management. Let's do another one. Let's do door schedule, sure. Actually, we can just do it right from here again. Tools, CAD, CAD detail management. Uh, maybe we're doing, let's see, keynotes. Keynotes. Let's do floor plan. Floor plan keynotes because we'll have additional keynotes for other items. Um, and, and let's just go ahead and get back to my control tab, back to my car wash plan here. We've got our schedules already set up you know however this person has set these up um, I'm just gonna copy this control tab again twice get to my door schedule control B paste this guy in here and I can control W to close him out and now control tab tab to get back to my primary tab and I can delete this particular guy we've already got him set let's grab what do we have here room schedules which I didn't set up a CAD detail for let's just I've got CAD detail management right here in my toolbar so I'm just gonna click that and let's just do room and capitalize room room <laughs> it's Friday everybody if you didn't know if you're just tuning in control tab back to my Cal Express car wash I'm gonna select these guys copy them delete them control tap tap tab wait for it to get there paste control W to close the window there we go keynotes will leave open right now I'm gonna control oops I skipped past it uh, window schedule it's just uh, I didn't see a window schedule but let's just throw one in here so we've got a window schedule if I find his window schedule I'll make sure to copy it and delete this particular item Control W to close that active window. And so now we're left with the schedules can officially be turned off and left off. Let's get text back on. Text. And let's see what we got going on here. In fact, we'll just select all these and display them. Okay, so we got a bunch of different things on the text layer and, and you know they're producing a little bit of lag not too bad but maybe we just consider on a project this large why don't we just go to keynotes which means that I'm gonna be going to um, 
my text here and create a new note, which is just the end key, you know, and I, and actually, let me just close this out real quick. Let me grab this text. I'm going to grab it all. I'm going to copy it and then in and place a keynote and then paste this simple schedule number. This is a general note. That's fine for right now. We're not going to do anything special with this, but that keynote's started now. It's a general note. And for some reason, it's not producing a number, which means that we need to get back to our floor plan keynotes, maybe because I didn't put a schedule here. Let's go tools, schedule, note schedule, and we're going to display it on this. I want this guy to be black. I don't know why we ever do blue. There we go. And I can just back out of this now, close that window. So this guy is done. He's done. He's out of there. So same thing. That looks like that might be the same same note, actually. Let's just see what happens here when we delete this guy. Grab a new note. Pop him in. Paste. Close that guy out. Yep, that's a different note. Let's grab this guy. So kind of the same thing. I'm just going to be going through and cleaning this up. And, and I mean, you know, this is a one-time deal. We wouldn't be doing this every time. Oops. See what I just did there? Let's back that out. We wouldn't be doing this every time because the next time we go to draw a set of plans this big and we want it to, you know, function really well, uh, we're just going to start with keynotes. We're not going to have to retroactively fix things like this. So that guy had a, um, a line arrow here. Let's just... Actually, I don't have, oh, we have CAD turned off. That's right. So what's this under? This is under text, huh? Text plot plan. Interesting. Because if I draw, this is a CAD arrow, I think. Yep. So let's cancel that. We want a text arrow. Lines. Oh, where is that thing? I always get confused. Text line with arrow. There we go. So this should be on the text layer. Yes, it is. Aha. Um, so just some examples of, of how we want to clean up these types of plans and, and you know, make some improvements. Um, you know, we've got a lot of different. Let's get this CAD, CAD elements back in here and figure out how we can reduce the number of CAD things that we've got going on here. Let's just select all again. Let's display these. Why do we need all these CAD items and what are they? We've got a lot of CAD items, in fact. So let's get to change our layer set. Let's get to an all off set. And back out of this, hit escape in the main active window here. If I hit escape, escape should be, well, for some reason, it wants to say that I've selected something. Oh, that's because we've got a name filter. There we go. So yeah, name filters in CAD. Let's show them all. Let's show what we got going on here in the all off. Yeah, look at how much CAD we've got here. And what's this all for? Oh, we've got some P solids. So we got a bunch of P solids, and these are architectural elements. Let's take a look at our perspective floor overview. So we're relying heavily on these polyline solids to create some architectural features in this place. And oh, what are these? We've got some walls here, walls, wall designations, which are what's fighting the camera. I want to take a look at what this is. Let's go all on set. What are these walls doing? Ah, we've got a wall legend and yeah, no reason not to put any of this stuff into CAD details. Let's get them off the screen, you know. This is just slowing your plan down. This stuff right here, same thing, CAD detail management. Let's make a new one. Assets, legends, whatever you want to call it. Get these guys on here. Get rid of them. Control. Oh, something's not turned on. Let's select all these, turn them on. Make sure they're showing up. There they go. Okay, close this window. And that means I can delete that. I can delete 
you know, we've got a bunch of walls here. Don't know why we've got duplicates of this stuff. You know, all these extra elements we're just adding to um, the number of calculations happening. Every time we've got to go move around and navigate, Chief wants to redraw. Control tab, get me back to perspective full overview. Let's take a look at some of these architectural elements that are here. Okay, so I feel like some of these things are these guys right here. Yeah, so these are our P-solids. No reason not to, to put a little bit more effort in in creating moldings out of these profiles, right? Because we could do a stacked molding, achieve the same effect, but then we don't have these P-solids in here um, that are hogging resources when we get back to the main plan. And why are we showing these in the main plan anyways? Do we need to show these outlines in the main plan? Or is it just confusing to the overall view here? I would say it's pretty confusing to this overall view. I really only want to show those elements in uh, elevation anyways. It's not really telling of, um, it's not really a build reference, right? Our contractor's not going to care about those extra lines there. Uh, so you could do a lot of it of this in moldings. Moldings are going to take up a lot less resources on this plan. Uh, you can see when we turn the CAD layers off, um, it makes this plan go a lot faster. So let's just go back to our all offset. I mean, this particular drafter is a talented drafter. You can tell this. He's just got some, you know, particular habits that he's used to we all do until we run into a problem like this where plans just moving really slow um, yeah I would say a lot of these things probably don't need to be represented in our plan view and that we can accomplish a lot of these um, without needing them so back to perspective full overview to kind of make this come full circle is I can go to the all off set now in perspective full overview and we can see exactly what we're looking at here because these elements aren't tied to any um, architectural layer. So we can see a visual representation of what's slowing us down here. And I mean, you know, this is a real solution based thing we can do here is that we're looking at elements that are created with P solids and, and CAD. And we know CAD slowing us down. And we can easily say that, you know, this could be a railing or, or you know, a wall with no room definition. Um, it could be a pony wall. We can accomplish this in any number of ways without needing to use these P-solids. Um, these can all be moldings up here. Uh, so I know it's, it's kind of a habit that we've come to create for these, um, for these projects is, is doing these P-solids. P-solids can be really easy, but heck, even turn them into a symbol and drop them back in here. They're going to be uh, less of a resource hog because um, you can grab and select this guy right here, turn them into a symbol, Drop them into your um, in your library, and then bring it back in. In fact, you could do that for this entire plan. So, um, just wanted to show you this is you know part of that service I offer. I'll get you into production speed. Um, you know, I do a, a lot of work in in your layout layer sets annotation sets i'll create these systems for you once we've created these systems and we've you know set up everything the way we want to we're going to you know create a um a template from this delete all your architectural em elements replace your existing imperial plan template and always be moving forward with our systems and our methods uh, the next part of this and, and something that i think it's is drastically missing is we don't have any macros calling out some of these you know, redundant pieces of information that you might have on every single plan. So um, that's something I can do for you as well. I can set up some some macros. If you've got advanced macros, I can get you in touch with people that are fantastic with advanced macros. I write some of my own, but there's certainly people out there like Joe Carrick or Michael, um, can't pronounce his last name, Alaskan Sun on the Chief Talk forums if you're unfamiliar. Uh, go check them out and uh, they can automate a lot of these systems a lot of these details uh, that we're creating we can have all this information automated and so you don't need to spend so much time doing annotations uh, i hope this uh, was a good representation of my service and give me a call 